Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I will be showing and demonstrating my new dies that I just recently created for my home-built shop power hammer. Um, you can find plans for this hammer over at our website, blacksmithpdfs.com, if you have interest in building this specific hammer. But yeah, so in this video, pretty simple. I'm just gonna be showcasing off this die that you're, wa that you're watching right now. Um, you know, we've got, there's a slanted die on this. That'll be in other videos that I will be using. You'll see it in this video, certainly a bank die. Um, I didn't use it in this particular video, uh, but I did use the radius die or the fullering die and the flat die. Now this is very similar to any sort of power hammer that you would you, you know, see that has a pair of combination dies. That's what they're called. They're called combo dies uh, here in America. And I think abroad, it's pretty much universal blacksmith speak for dies when you have one radius die and one flat die. Now, usually I use flat dies on the power hammer and flat dies only because most of the time when I use the power hammer, I am making some sort of tooling of some kind. That's when I'm using it most. But in this case, I was forging out some oak leaf curtain tie backs. I've done a whole video on these before. You can search that up on the channel as well. It'll probably be linked down in the description. But yeah, basically, Jessica liked them so much. She wanted some more for around the house for the various different windows that we have. So I decided to do just a slightly different style and uh, that's what you're seeing in here. Just as a matter of time wise, it took me about one fifth the time to forge out one of these. So it was about five of these to one as what I was able to do before by hand. So by hand, I was able to do one of these in the same amount of time that it took me to do five of these on the power hammer. So a power hammer can be a really good, useful addition to your shop. Um, you know, of course, there's a lot more powerful hammers out there than what mine is, and you could even get more done theoretically in one heat uh, with a much more solidly built hammer or something that's heavier. Mine's only a 75 pound ram weight, and you know, it has its own advantages and its disadvantages that we don't have to get into in this video. But yeah, basically I just want to share this video with you and leave you with the forging and some of the different uh, camera angles I was able to catch. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video nonetheless. Um, and also one last quick thing before I let you go. If you're new to this channel and you just subscribed and you're going through some of the content, um, we also do Friday night live streams, but we do them every other Friday. And in one of those live streams, we end up giving away a 66 pound um, a Chayo anvil. You maybe have seen those online and all around the net, but we'll be giving away one of those every month for throughout the whole year of 2020. We're calling it the great year of the anvil. So uh, be sure to hit that subscribe bell hit click the bell for notifications and set it for all notifications. That way you'll get our um, prompt as soon as we go live that way you don't miss out on that and a lot of the other great door prizes uh, for being there as well. So we hope that you'll enjoy uh, the rest of this video. I hope that you'll join us in one of our live streams and come be a part of our community here online. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, God bless you and have a great day. We'll catch you on the next one.